Hello guys, today we'll do air brake pad replacement and I will show you how to and I will include uh, part numbers and everything where I bought from as actually I made this morning earlier earlier this morning one video showing where I got parts from so uh, I won't edit anything just uh, whatever you do here straight away I will uh, put I'll do only on one side and video it. Other side, uh, as you can as you can imagine, will be the same. I've got UPS invoice on my name, where the parts came from, and I want to show you uh, where they messed up with the uh, charges and everything. So and then what they what have they amended? Okay, if you look. Yeah, it says Finpar Singapore. That's VAT and import duties. And actually, for the part, it was like twenty-two pounds sixty-two. But when I spoke with the guys, they said, you know, uh, that guy from UPS, he said, you know, some they added like sixty pounds on top of uh, delivery or something like that. So they corrected this one nineteen pounds to. Uh, £6.77 uh, uh, and, and they took that charge off so it worked out well for me so but for you you have to you need to have in your mind that when you import anything from outside UK you have to pay VAT and uh, import duty on top Okay, so my car now it's acne, eh? as you can see. I loosen them bolts and uh, I will remove and start, start working on it. So bear with me, we'll see. Brake shoes are inside. I have actually haven't done anything with the shoes uh, in uh, with the car, you know, with, on any car with the shoes. So I don't know how to do it. I have to look at uh, some other videos on YouTube. But on this side, you can't hear any noise. Brake pads. They are toasted. So let's have a look. What else I need to do? I think that would be these bolts. Will be like 10 mil. These ones will be like 17. But I'll have a look. Because actually, on this side, I'm for the first time. So I bought as well a new set of spanners. They are like aviation spanners or something like that, as you can see. And these are the brake pads I spoke before. They included that grease, and that is actually these came with the shims, so I, I'll be using them ones. But you can use obviously other ones, as you can see, quite good. No difference, and the part number is on here. Okay, let's let's do something then. Okay. Okay, these bolts here, yeah, this one and this one are 12 mil. So I need to get the spanner. Okay, watch. 
chip with the salt kit. These ones were easy. They will have they have a thread locker, so I'll be using it later on. Okay, I forgot to get thread locker and uh, uh, bungee to to hot caliper, so I'm gonna go and get this one and we'll carry on. Sorted. Okay. It's not much left. I'm removing, I'm removing shims and I'm keeping them. Okay, what originals are? SBO Outer. Obviously, that is, I, I don't think that there is original. I'll show you original ones on the front. I removed them uh, from the front already. So as you can see it's on the top here it says Honda AKN F31211 FF. So that that is probably part number. We'll do now. As you can see that that uh, that what makes some squeaky noise. On the other side is like when I rotate brake pa uh, brake brake disc, it makes that noise. So yeah. Okay. And again, you know, outside uh, brake pad, with the shim. And inside, that is outside, that is inside. So as you can see, inside. Okay, these ones on the side. What I'll do is, I will remove them ones. Remove that. And as you can see, there. Okay. I will open it, and I will have a look. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> okay. These ones are seventeen mil. It's easy with these spanners like that. The chamber don't have 12 mil. Okay. 
Okay. On the front brake discs, I did remove discs and uh, by removing them too. But because inside here, there's a brake shoe for the foot brake. I'm not gonna remove. There's a little lip. I'm not sure, maybe half a mil. Something like that. I will keep. Well, I will keep as it is. I don't want to get grinder and start taking some, those bits out, and sparks will be flying around the car. Like now, what I will do? Okay, that's all. These ones are working perfectly. I'll get the wire brush, clean everything. I will inspect what's inside here and regrease it and put uh, back everything together. Okay. Just it. They look okay. Obviously, when you replace uh, when you replacing uh, brake parts, it doesn't matter front or rear. Always look at them ones because it's easy to neglect and not to, not to check it. But on the on the front ones, one of these uh, pins would it was sliding, but it was quite stiff. are different this pin from this one side this from there I got silicone grease
usually put quite a lot of grease. they glide in quite easy what I'll do next get my copper grease and I will regrease them bits sliders Get thread locker. Again, 17 mil. What I will do next is It's not working as well. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try with the one.
have brake pod scissors to push them back in. Just go slowly. Okay, that's that one just pull it back in. As you can see, we'll do now I just clean here. Oh. There are lots of metal dust. I don't have brake cleaner, so that's the Okay. We'll do next. Put brake pads in. What I will do next is, I have a file, little tiny file, uh, and I will file it, those, bit, those bits around here, just to clean the paint and to make sure it's all smooth and nice. A friend of mine, he, who is working with the, with the trucks, he said to me, like, you know, if you do that one, it's, it's better. So I believe it's, it's working well. So, okay, let's carry on. Okay, one is done. Next one. Okay, I will apply now copper grease on all edges. And this one is ready to go in.
Okay, another one. This one goes inside. There you go. Oh, that looks up. all done. As you could see, have things done. The caliper is moving in and out. That's probably brake shoes, which, what makes noise. And what I'll do is, I'll put some anti season copper grease on here to stop brake disc uh, uh, alloy sticking to. On to break discs. Okay.
now I, uh, and now I will torque it up up to 140. Usually on alloys I put 140 Newton meters. Some, some say 130, 150, but I'll go for the 140. Okay, 140. Okay, as you could see, this side is done. I'll go and do the next one. So next one is other side is opposite this one. So it's pretty much it's all the same. So no difference at all. So I will include all part numbers where I bought them from, links, and as you could see, it's very fairly easy done. Okay, guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. Didn't like, thumbs down. Uh, you won't ask any questions. You can ask it if you want to subscribe please do so okay guys up to next videos thanks bye